Well, Mr. Erickson said he wanted a video of the whole assembly, but uh, sorry, <laughs> that's a little bit of work. But I figured I'd do a couple small videos uh, for those that haven't built the SFX 100s, a couple things that I learned uh, that would make things a little bit easier. Um, they really aren't difficult at all to assemble, but um, it seems to be the, the inserts um, cause a lot of fear in people. And they're going to the end of extrusion, so you can go ahead and thread your 8 millimeter bolt. Uh, kind of holds everything together. It'll slip in there. You see it's a little dark in there. I have put anti-seize in every single one. If you don't have experience in aluminum, you really don't want aluminum against aluminum dry. It'll gall, which means it kind of balls up. And it will, lock, it will warm up, and it will lock in there like a rock, and it will be done. So anti-season the holes. I've clearance the holes a few thousandths before. It's uh, not really necessary. Uh, so however you want to do it. I use a quarter inch. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Quarter inch Milwaukee uh, impact wrench. I use a quarter inch uh, nut driver, bolt driver, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this happens to be a half inch, which is the close enough on the 13 millimeter. It fits nice and snug, so there's no loose. So what I'm doing with this bolt is I'm actually going to place a washer on it like that. And the washer is kind of a, a sacrificial washer because after three or four, you know, maybe even five, five runs, the washer gets a little bit soft and you just replace it as opposed to replacing the bolt. And also the bolt won't lock up on the insert when it goes in there so it gives some play and it's easier to back the bolt out so what we're going to do this is the section that goes into the extrusion and we're going to thread it down onto that washer right there and we will go ahead and get the impact ready and put it in there so you're gonna slip that guide in there just make sure it's you know straight you'll feel if it's straight um, it'll kind of rock into place and just go for it so for those of you who did it with the uh, hex wrench I uh, applaud you but uh, that was one and I think it took all of maybe 10 seconds so hopefully that helps somebody out and uh, until the next video have a great evening, have a great morning, wherever you're at, what part of the world, take care.